for 55.7 it's quite light. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a well a special bottle here in my cask. It's the newest bottle from Aran called the Bothy. Around 60 to 70 euros. No age statement on it, quite expensive. And 55.7% in cask strength. This whiskey is natural color and unchill filtered, so it shows quite a, a color means quite a time in casks and uh, well this is cask strength and to reach 55.7 down from 63.5 the typical uh, casking strength of whiskey in Scotland well that's history uh, everybody filled with 63.5 percent in the casks and then you were able uh, to switch casks between distilleries without measuring. This is nine years old. I exchange against nine years old. We do not have to measure alcohol content. We do not have to measure a filling of the cask. Just switch one cask against each, each other. And then they had, well, the other whiskies for their blends. <clears throat> and from 63, 0.5 down to 55.7 you need quite a time so this whiskey is not that young uh, but unhappily nobody dared to write an age statement on it probably someone had to add uh, a younger cask for more intensity or whatever so the bothy uh, is a scottish word means a, a refuge a, a hut in the wilderness and uh, Quarter casks is written on uh, the, the tube, and the story behind this whiskey is as follows: um, the Bothy was initially matured first in first fill ex bourbon barrels before being transferred for secondary maturation into smaller American oak casks for a minimum of eighteen months. So nobody knows if those eighteen months were after the maturation period of three, three years or after five years or ten years or whatever. This process creates greater contact between the whiskey and oak and a much more intense maturation. So the smaller casks, those quarter casks, we know that uh, size from, from other bottlings, from other distilleries, uh, has a better relation or ratio between the inner surface of the cask and the enclosed whiskey. So the whiskey inside has relatively more contact to the oak uh, of the staves of the inside of the cask. So this means in smaller casks whiskey is maturing faster or more intense and transfers more whiskey into or more aromas into the whiskey from the cask walls. Um, mm -hmm. The end result is a full body expression of the Aaron malt combining power and finesse, full of rich vanilla sweetness and bold peppery spice. Bottling and natural cast strength without chill filtration or artificial coloring presents this whiskey in its purest form. Thank you for that. The Isle of Aaron was a hotbed of distillation during the 18th and 19th centuries with much of this production taking place illicitly in Bothys. Here the name comes from. Um, small casks were a common feature of this period as they were easier to handle and transport around the island, typically on mules, one cask on each side of a mule. With the Bothy, we proudly bring this tradition back to life. And here there is a Bothy <laughs> and an Aaron Deer and two casks of whiskey. <clears throat> so typically on the bottle is nothing more than on the tube. And in addition, yeah, well, uh, this is batch one. If there is written batch one, they intend 
to issue it batch two and three and so on. And this is one of 12,000 bottles. So this one shall be a high volume whiskey from the Aaron distillery. And this one was bottled in September 2015. Yeah. 12,000 bottles, that expensive, 60 to 70. Uh, will take quite a time to be, well, <laughs> drunk by the market, <laughs> sucked up. Uh, so we have to, I think, wait for at least a year until batch two will be out there. For 55.7, it's quite light. There's the alcoholic strength, of course. And behind it, well, a little maltiness, a little sugary, faint sweetness, but a lot of alcohol. Yeah, so for a novice in the matter, it's probably a little bit too strong. Too much alcohol, too few intensity in the nose. Add a little water. Now well, this is 50. 5.7. And this is below 50, somewhere between 48 and 50. A little lighter. Fruitiness coming up. Probably some, some pineapple, some, some apple, green apple. And green apple always says, I'm young. So these apples and pears, they typically show those are lighty asters. Those are young aromas. Sweetness. Yeah, first sip. Hmm. Incredibly smooth and oily on the tongue. Wonderful. And then in the aftertaste, a hint of chili coming up, but fading away very, very fast. Cane sugar, officially cocoa. Mm -hmm. No, no bitterness at all, too young. And this light spiciness of young American oak. Well, this one is on the palate, in your mouth, so much better than on the nose. It's incredible good mouthfeel. So this is a sipping whiskey, not those whiskies you have in your glass and you're smelling for half an hour and then starting to sip. So this one is Quite easy, quite straightforward in the nose, and the real expression is in your mouth. Officially, there's some sandalwood in it, and oak, and malt, and mm, <laughs> no. Quite easy. The pleasure is in the drinking. So smooth and oily, incredible. Yeah, wonderful. Um, so be careful, it's a good sipping whiskey. Uh, from the price range, it's competing with the 12 years old cast strength, as well as with the 14 year old in drinking strength. Uh, and if you have to have the bothy, well, depends on you. Uh, 
What are those whiskies you prefer? Oh, yeah. now in the aftertaste, there is some sandalwood, very far away, coming up very lightly in the back. Yeah. Yeah, 18 months in quarter casks give a good mouthfeel. Yes. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to give your comments on our vlog and our whiskey database on whiskey.com.